Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, I wanted to do an update on where I'm at with my pens and notebooks. I have got less than, uh, well, two months, two and a half months to go before the end of the year. And I have made a huge effort to use up a lot of my disposable pens because I am shifting more into trying to use more fountain pens for journaling. I will buy certain pens to use that are my favorites that are disposable, just because there are certain notebooks that just those pens glide very nicely on it. And then sometimes the paper will bleed if I use fountain pens, but look at the progress. These two drawers that hold all of my main pens are pretty much empty. The only reason why this one looks so full is because it's got my silver gel pens in there. I haven't really made black paper inserts this year to use, but uh, usually it's very full with the Pentel, not the Pentel, the uh, Papermate Ink Joys. And that was um, pretty much full and the gel pens kind of shifted. Um, so I've shifted them up into this drawer. And then these are what's left of my Uniball Vision pens. So I am so, so happy with how many pens that I've used up. I'm really excited to show you guys my stationary empties for the end of the year because the progress that I've made, everything that I've seen built up with um, all the empties that I've been saving has been so encouraging and rather satisfying to see. So I'm excited to show you guys all of that. And then uh, here is the shelf that I keep all of my notebooks. And you can see it's pretty much reduced by half. I don't really have much over on the side except this one clearance recollections notebook that I have from Michaels. I haven't gotten around to using the cover for anything, but I think I'm saving that for another scrap therapy journal. And then I will definitely use the notebook inside for journaling. It's just a craft paper notebook. The pages fall out very easily, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to keep it a little bit more intact. And then this is a handmade junk journal out of a binder style dollar spot binder that I got from years and years ago. It used to be the guest binder that I would use for the guest room of our previous homes. I'm not counting all the notebooks that I have left in my little box here because as I've said before, a lot of these are used for creative writing so there's no pressure for myself to use these for actual journaling and uh at the start of 2021, I will be starting my new five-year journal that was gifted to me by a wonderful subscriber, and I'm so excited to get that started. So that will empty out a huge chunk of that backspace there. And I'm very proud of all the creative writing that I've done this past year so far, because that really kind of freed up a lot of the smaller notebooks. I do still have the workshop companion by Field Notes. It's such a beautiful set, and I'm kind of saving it for something very special, so that is still on the docket to be used. I still have my Rick Steves pocket travel journal. I love Rick Steves. It's a line journal. I still have my beautiful junk journal that's birds themed. I'm also saving that. And a Field Notes dime novel. I think I'm going to use that for creative writing too. A Daiso notebook here. These don't really count, I think, because just, you know, there's only like two or three pages to each insert that I made out of leftover handmade paper uh, that I pulled out from a journal. A Miller Rick Steves journal. Uh, this is kind of like a half done junk journal that I made in the beginning of my junk journal days years and years ago that's still left so I haven't done anything with that I've got two Amazon basics notebooks and one more of these Daiso spiral notebooks left 
This I got at the ECCC, the Emerald City Comic Con. I bought two of the same style and I still have one more to use. I have this notebook that I got at Kinokuniya years and years ago. It's very smooth blank paper. It's such a large size, so I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I am going to use it for journaling one of these days. And then this one that I got on clearance at like a Korean shop. And it's just cute because I like the little guy in the front. But this is all that's left. And I know I had put out there that I wasn't sure what I wanted to do as my 150th journal, which is coming up soon. But instead of making an insert, I thought, you know, I am on such great progress to use up my notebooks that I might as well just dig into my own stash and just keep using it because I'm so close to the end of the year. I'm so close to seeing how many notebooks that I've managed to use up. So I've pulled this out. This is the other notebook that I have left in my ones that I still have to use left, uh, use up. And this one is very special to me. It was given to me by a friend. And obviously, if you followed my channel for a while, you know that I love, 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 love. I love England. It's where my heart is. And she said that she bought it for me because it uh, made her think of me. So... I think of her when I pick this up and I've been holding off on using it because I wanted something special. So here it is. This is going to be my 150th journal. And I'm very happy that I've decided to just continue on because I'm so close to using up more notebooks. So this is going to be the next one. I'm very close to moving into this one. So I'll get that one set up. And then I have a couple in mind to use up after that to kind of round out the rest of the year. I'm thinking of just going into pocket size, so I might use this one up next. And then I'm not quite sure where I'm going to be, how much I'm going to journal as I wrap up the year. So I'm actually considering using up the rest of this notebook. So those are the two that I have in mind to kind of end out the year, carry into 2021, and then I'll be able to do my final review and recap of how many journals I've finished, how many notebooks I've filled up, and my stationary empties. I'm very excited to show you guys. So this is what's left from that whole shelf that I've had full I'm sure that I've shown you at the beginning of the year and I've mentioned a few times after. I'm so pleased and I'm very excited to move into this new notebook. And I don't know what I'm going to do once I get to a certain amount left. I think once this reduces in half, I'm going to start reviewing on what I will actually keep stocked up to use. At this point, I'm pretty set in my ways of what I like to use, and I don't want to keep too many on reserve to pull from. I do want to have some journals on hand, so when I run out, I'm not having to wait for shipping or something like that. And I've done enough experimentation that I know what papers work for me, what I like, the sizes. But that's not to say that there won't be some new journals coming my way uh, when I feel like it. But at the moment, I mean, this is just so budget friendly. I mean, I have all this stuff anyway. I'm going to use it up. And I'd like to get to maybe having six journals left to pull from that are not used and then always having just about six and once again not counting small notebooks but because I don't use a lot of mini notebooks I probably won't be stocking up on those anytime soon I'll probably buy those as I go once that runs out but main journals I'd like to have at least about six and then maybe a couple of my favorite traveler's notebook inserts on reserve and that I think is a good number for me. It allows me a little bit of flexibility and 
just it's just nice having that back up so that's where I'm at with all of my notebooks and pens and if you have any questions let me know down let me know down in the comments and I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much for all of your positive feedback on my latest video uh, my very honest one <laughs> I was not expecting such a positive response and it's that, I don't want to say it came as a surprise, but that was just kind of like a nice surprise because social media is so, so weird and I was thinking I was going to get more negative comments. I've gotten a few, but uh, the positive has definitely outweighed the negative and you guys are so encouraging. You guys, you friends, journaling friends, you are so encouraging and thank you so much. That means a lot to me that everyone took time to write and you've shared your experiences and I'm so sorry that I can't get back to all of you. There were just way more comments and feedback than I was expecting. So uh, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. I can't even put into words uh, how how much it does. But uh, thank you for your support on my channel. It, uh, it keeps me coming back. You all keep me coming back and knowing that I'm not the only one feeling the way I do. So I hope you guys are doing very well in your own journals and keeping at it if you're trying to use up your stash. You can do it. It's a slow pro process. It has been for me. It's been many, many years. I mean... This took years to get down to even this amount. And I'm still calling through my things and deciding what to keep. So I, co I hope you keep at it. I hope you don't feel discouraged. But also don't feel too bad about yourself if you go out and buy stuff because I'm still going out and buying things once in a while, but I'm really trying to rein that in. Okay, I'm, I'm going to end it here <laughs> before I get into it anymore. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.